What up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Victory Monday. I am getting ready to head on out. But in the meantime, I was just curious what the reaction would be for the people on Get Up with Dak Prescott. Clearly, this is the best three, four game series, excuse me, games in a row for Dak Prescott. Clearly, Dak Prescott has the highest um, rating that he's ever had in a season, and his numbers are on par with everybody else, and he should be in the MVP conversation. I know people will say, you're crazy, Dak Prescott, screw you. But take a look at Pat Mahomes' numbers and Dak Prescott's. And take a look, Kansas City has one more win than the Dallas Cowboys. I know everybody says, well, the Cowboys only do it against loser teams, but there's no team out there that plays every week against winning teams. I'm sorry, they just don't. But we'll see how it goes by the rest of the season. But let's go in to get up and hear what they have to actually say today. Season 640 yards of offense for the Cowboys. In a game that was 49-17, but don't let that fool you. It wasn't nearly that close. After the game, Jerry Jones said it's the best he's ever seen Dak play, this stretch of football. If you go back to the Monday night game against the Chargers week six, he leads the league with 361 total yards per game. He has 14 total touchdowns, which leads the league in that span. And so we all know how the Dak Prescott fans feel about Danny. You've had your ups and downs with Dakota. <laughs> Is this the best he's ever played? Yeah, it's the best he's ever played. And I think that it's certainly the best athletically he's looked since the wow. ankle injury. That's the real difference in his game. Outside of, like, Dallas finally throwing the ball to CeeDee Lamb, third and six, three-man rush. There's very little wasted movement or hesitation from Dak. No one's open. Now get to – it's a foot race to the, the sideline. We hadn't seen that in the past couple years. That's great. This is one of his better plays in the past couple years. Look at – takes off, sudden to retrace. He's going to throw this ball off one foot – Falling back. back from the 39-yard line, mm. and that goes all the way down to the 11-yard line in a completion to C.D. Lamb. Almost 30 yards in the air, and then this is their touchdown again. Third red zone, what, what was the issues with this football team? Maybe a little, Finally, the suddenness and the right athleticism yeah. is back. Mm -hmm. Not only when it's needed, when a little bit of his scrambling, I also saw three different occasions when they purposefully moved the pocket for Dak Prescott. So more that's often a, than it's not, the that does it. When it comes to his leg use, like three or four. Play, what do you think? Three or four plays a game. That's but, all he needs, right? Right. right? That, that's defensively, that just that just makes everything different for us. Yeah. Teddy, I'm reading your notes here, and it says, "quote I learned absolutely nothing about the Cowboys <laughs> in this game." Why is that? Yeah. I, I see all the highlights and you see all the great stuff, but then it's it's you're playing a giant team that skews the NFL statistics, really. In my <laughs> mind. What is that? Because mean? it's like, okay, you know, the pass rush, the defense, you got all these sacks, the offense, you got all this. Okay, how many times did you play the Giants? <laughs> uh, did you play the Giants? Because they are giving up hand over fist statistics, and everyone that plays them is ready to do that. You have that mentality. You know when the stack game's coming up, we're playing the Giants. They aren't inspired. They're not playing hard. It's just they're just trying to get through the season. It's Seems like that's what I see when I see the New York Giants. The Cowboys here, when does it really matter, guys? When does it really sure. matter? When the big games come mm -hmm. around again, that's what's, what it's going to be. Because I agree with you. What I've seen from Dak, too, recently in the last month, it's like, man, I've been da a Dak doubter also. But he is those three or four Can plays you that you're that? talking about. Yeah. Against Philly. In the red area, Same in the friend. fourth quarter, yeah. man. Yeah, Detroit. when it's served up to you yes. on a platter, let's go. That's what I'm now, The funny thing is that like, I've always been a huge Dak supporter, as you guys know. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. amazing. Like, I make stuff up, uh -huh. right? Because remember Here when I go. said Dak needs to use his legs and all that? Like, clearly I've said it many weeks ago. Yeah. And that's when he'll get back to being the Dak Prescott. Well, we see it in the red zone. How are you going to be better in the red zone? Use your legs. By the mm -hmm. way, this Brandon Cooks, I made it up. I made it up. <laughs> I mean, really, mm -hmm. I mean, let's see the quarterbacks. Let's see. He's had 1,000 yards receiving under Davis Mills, Tyrod Taylor, Deshaun Watson, Jared Goff, Tom Brady, Drew Brees. Finally, Dallas realized he's their second best receiver on their team, and it ain't close. Yeah. And so that I'm encouraged with. Using Dak's legs in the red zone, I've called for forever. I said I had him over Philly, okay? And I'll never pick him over Philly because he's my old man. Yeah, I don't want him rolling over in his grave. But 
They've closed the gap. Why? They brought in Stephon Gilmore. They brought in Brandon Cooks. This guy right here is playing phenomenal. I'm not making anything out of the performance for the Dallas Cowboys outside of well, the Dak. Well, they played the little Giants. 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 The little Giants. The athleticism, the movement, the use of legs. That's the development for mm-hmm. me that is different. Yeah. Say it one more time so everyone hears it's, it right. It's the little Giants they're playing. <laughs> the this little team's not the New Giants. York Giants. The New York Giants made the playoffs last year. Yeah. This is the little Giants. <laughs> and so you're talking about skewed stats. I expected more out of the Little Giants. I saw the movie. <laughs> this team They've stinks. They've been outgained by 250 yards three times yeah, this year. Yeah, they stink. I mean, it's what nice they, got, they got good players on defense. 640 yards. 640. Uh, did they have to play him five times? I don't know. The 49ers humiliate Jackson. All right, so the Little Giants. The Cowboys did it with the Little Giants. But here's the thing is um, – what you're seeing is a couple of things, and uh, Dan Orlowski pointed out to it. They've been moving the pocket. Well, that's one of the things that you know people like me that are idiots that don't know anything about football say, you need to get Dak Prescott outside because Dak Prescott always in his career has been one of those guys that when you get him outside with that clear vision of view, with having, you know, basically not being molested, He's one of the best quarterbacks on the move outside of the pocket. The thing you see now is you see Dak Prescott really moving so much better than he did even last year. And you will have to wonder, as we're seeing guys like Michael Gallup, who needed another year to really get back into to, to, uh, himself, and Terrence Steele, who's still working to get back into himself, Dak Prescott being that same guy, too, that still needed time to really and truly heal to be that guy. Because now... When you used to see him running since the broken foot, you see him kind of hesitate and it just kind of had a little bit of a gant that just didn't look right. Now you're seeing him just literally go and he looks like he is running much, much better. And having that dimension and picking up those first downs when nothing is there is truly being a difference maker. And had he not stepped out of bounds against the Eagles, heck, maybe we ended up getting that win. But, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. And as we look at the numbers, this is where it gets to be crazy. You know, when we start talking about Dak, is he an MVP? You've got to put him in the conversation because here's the thing. If we go by rating numbers, okay, in the NFL, Dak is third, excuse me, <coughs> rating at a 105.1, the highest of his career. And QBR, he's also third at 72.6. But wait, there's more. Yard average per pass. It's not dink and dunk, Dak. It's not dinking and dunking. He's averaging 8.1 yards per pass play, which is fourth in the NFL. So that whole narrative of it used to be he can't throw the ball down the field, that's some bull crap. But on top of it, if we talk about completion percentage, when you're talking about a guy forcing the ball down the field, throwing the ball 8.1, he is second as far as uh, – Completion percentage. The person who's ahead of him is ahead of him by a half a percent, which is Josh Allen. But I will say this. Josh Allen, his completion uh, yard average is almost a yard behind Dak Prescott. So he's not risking the biscuit, so to speak, so much. And with that, Josh Allen is turning over the ball a hell of a lot more. If we go by TDs, Dak Prescott, is fourth in TDs. Fourth in TDs. Yeah. So you're seeing Dak Prescott basically in the top five of every matrix. And if you really want to go ahead and cuss me out, go ahead, fine, cuss me out. But if you look at Dak Prescott's numbers and Pat Mahomes, they're pretty much the same. They both have 17 TDs, be it Pat Mahomes has more interceptions. Uh, yard average, Dak Prescott is actually averaging um, almost a full yard more per pass. And I'm not saying that Dak Prescott is Pat Mahomes, but I'm just saying before you poo poo the idea that Dak Prescott should be in the conversation of MVP, you got to look at the numbers. And right now, Dak Prescott's numbers TD percentage 5.7, Pat Mahomes 5.1, interceptions again. Pat Mahomes, eight interceptions. Dak Prescott, only six. So just putting it out there, go ahead, leave your comments, and say what you want to say. 
But Dak Prescott, yeah, he's a little bit Mahomes-esque at the moment. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you guys. As always, peace out.